three, two, one. Hello and welcome back. Today is Thursday, March 21st. I have your three best bets for you in the NBA today. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the page. Hope you're having a wonderful day and get to enjoy this basketball mecca day and weekend. We have wall-to-wall -wall basketball all day, but we still have the NBA. Got the pros playing still, and I got your three best bets for you. Before we jump into today's plays, we got to recap yesterday's action. Three, two, one. Yesterday in the NBA, we ended up three, two, one. Yesterday in the NBA, we ended up going 2-2. Two and two. We cannot shake these even days. It's still losing money, but still, back-to-back, -back, two and two days. It's just beautiful when everything just works like that. Uh, you're either hot or cold, and I'm just mid right now. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, 20-plus points in a blowout. He got to 20 on the nose. You've got to love to see that he broke that cold streak. Uh, Damian Lillard, he balled out in the third quarter, of the second half of that game, and then the Celtics game. And uh, cash the over for us as well. Kind of love to see it. Two players that didn't do that for us was Tyrese Maxey. He probably had the worst game of his of the season for him. He had so many turnovers. Finished the game with six points. Complete opposite read. Watch him the next game go for 30. Uh, Anthony Simons, 14 points in the game. And then they just get pulled for the rest of it. The Clippers came out and dominated them in the third. More, most likely Kawhi, more likely Kawhi dominated that third quarter. He had 17 points in that third. Him and PG were balling out, and it was a little too much. They pulled all the starters in that game pretty early on. Uh, if you couldn't tell by me tweeting, I was like, it was it was over before it started. I thought it could have had a good second half, and then Kawhi happened. But that's enough about yesterday's plays. I got three best bets for you that I love today. I w need to go two and one because. I want to go positive for you guys here. Posting these plays, it's not fun going even all the time. But, hey, let's just jump into the first best bet. Going to be in that Bulls-Rockets game. And if you checked out my Twitter earlier today, this morning, you saw that I absolutely love this line. So, right now, I love DeMar DeRozan. Over 22.5 points coming in at minus 125 on DraftKings. DeMar has gotten this over six of his last ten games at three, two, one. DeMar's gotten this over six of his last 10 games, averaging 26.2 points per game. Plays a Houston team that gives up the fifth most points to the small power forward position. Not small forward, power forward position. Got to have DeMar eaten in this matchup. He's gotten this over three of his last five games versus Houston, averaging 24 points per game. Most recent game that he did play, he only had 19 points. But Zach and Kobe both balled out there. Uh, Kobe had 30 points. Zach had 25 in that game. Uh, even Boot showed up, almost 20 points in that game. So didn't need DeMar in that one. But today, they're going to need them. They're playing a red-hot Rockets team right now. And I think this game is going to be probably the most fun game overall on the day. So got to love that. DeMar, five for his last five road games, averaging 33 points per game. He's actually gotten this over 10 of his last 10 road games as well, averaging 30 points per game. And with two days rest, he's gotten this over four of his last five games, averaging 26.8 points per game. You got to love to see that this is a beautiful spot here. I don't know why this number is at 22. Last few days, it's been at 23, 24 points per game. And today we get it at 22 and a half. I love the discount overall. He's gotten this over eight of his last 10 games versus the Western Conference, averaging 26.8 points per game. I think the line is a little bit down because they think Kobe White's going to be back in this game. And even if he does play, you know, it doesn't bother DeMar at all for him to get points. I think that will probably more affect Io than DeMar. And, you know, Mr. Fourth Quarter, even if he's 10 points away, he'll cash the over for us. I like his over 22 and a half points. Three, two, one. For my second best bet, it's going to be in a very fun matchup. I, I, I can't wait to watch this one. It's going to be in the Knicks-Nuggets matchup and going to be riding with him. We've taken his over the last three, three games for him on rebounds, and we're going to continue it. We're going with Josh Hart. Over 10.5 rebounds coming in at minus 110 on DraftKings. Hart has gotten this over five of his last five games, averaging 13.8 rebounds per game. Love to see that. Now he plays a Denver Nuggets team that allows the eight, the ninth most rebounds to the power forward position. Got to love that great match. Great spot overall. Uh, he has Last time he did play the Denver Nuggets this season. He only had seven rebounds, but that was with Randall and Simmons playing in that game. So 
with them not being out, Josh Hart is going to be skyrocketing for these rebounds. It's a little lower over under as well. Uh, <laughs> hear my alarm. Uh, a little lower. Three, two, one. Hart has gotten this over five of his last five games, and now he plays a Denver Nuggets team that allows the ninth most rebounds to the power forward position. So this is a great spot for him. A little lower over under as well. So potentially a lot of misses in the game, but maybe just means a lower, slower pace game overall. He's actually gotten this over five of his last five road games as well, averaging 14 rebounds per game in these last five. Last time they did play the Denver Nuggets, he only had seven rebounds in that game, but that was with Randall and Simmons playing. So with them being out, Randall could be able to skyrocket it for these rebounds. Uh, Denver just gave up an 11 rebound game to PJ Washington. So you got to feel good that they give up rebounds to the power forward position overall. Uh, so I absolutely love this spot here. We're going to keep riding the hot hand on the boards. Love is over 10.5 rebounds. Holy hot as hell. Three, two, one. For my third best bet is going to be in that Suns-Hawks matchup. I'm going to be taking DeJounte Murray. I'm kidding. I'm not going to be taking him. He's on the ban list. He does have a great matchup. So if you guys want to take him, feel free. But he's burned me these last two times, so I'm not going back. Going back to a guy that's been a little cold for the Suns team overall. Going with Kevin Durant. Over 24.5 points. Coming in at minus 120 on DraftKings. Let's dive into it. Atlanta Hawks this season have allowed the eighth most points to the power forward position. They're out Josh Johnson, their best defender overall to the power forward position. So KD has a mismatch in this matchup. So I love that overall. He's got this over six of his last six games versus the Atlanta Hawks, averaging 35.5 points. Most recent matchup had 35 points in that game. Uh, back to backs, he's gone over seven of his last 10 games, averaging 27.9 points per game. So even with the back to back tonight, got to love that. He's gone over three of his last five home games as well, averaging 30, point, 30 points per game. And he's gotten this over at home 77% of the time this season, averaging 28.8 points per game. Got to love that. The Hawks have allowed this over 10 of their uh, to 10 of the last 12 players they play to the power forward position. Zion had 27. Ruri had 17. John Collins had 18. And Cam Johnson had 23. Only two players that didn't get their over was uh, Jared Jackson Jr., who was a half point shy from his over, and then uh, Amir Coffey, he only had two points. Uh, couldn't tell you who he even plays for, the Clippers. But uh, but high over-under matchup, 225 overall. Back at home, they, KD needs to bounce back here. The Suns need all these games that they want for a tighter Western Conference. Playing a, playing a Hawks team that uh, this game could be a potential blowout, and I think it's because of that, because the Hawks are, are on a road. They're doing the West Coast trip right now. So I think Kevin Durant... With the injuries to the Hawks team, he's going to take advantage of this matchup being back at home. Love is over 24 and a half points. Three, two, one. Those are my three best bets for you in the NBA tonight. As always, hope you're having a wonderful day. Get to enjoy all the basketball that's ahead of us. I know I can't wait to watch these. As always, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It makes me know you like the content. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep on smiling. I'll see you in the next one.